Hey everybody, welcome once again to another Low Unhealth Year End Review, this time going over the TV we watched in 2023. Once again, TV, just like movies in 2023, were kind of meh, more or less, but let's go ahead and see what we got here. In 2023, we saw about 30 series, or TV shows in general. Is it the same number of anime we watched? Or movies, one of the two. Yeah. Um, not that much. Usually sometimes it goes over 50. Um, in which case, my number one was Captain Laserhawk, which was kind of like, you know, the blood dragon, blah, 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 from Netflix. It was more like Ubisoft, the cinematic universe. Yeah, animated. and I think a lot of people are like, well, I didn't like Blood Dragon or I didn't play that game. It's like, no, no, no. If you're a fan of gaming and you've played a lot of Ubisoft games, this is kind of almost like a... If you like a cyberpunk dystopia setting. And it's just very good and visceral. And, of course, the guy that produced it also was a, had a hand in the more recent Castlevania stuff. He did a bunch of, a bunch of other, like, video. He wants to do a bunch of kind of a mixed media type of thing, which is just really cool and interesting. Um and I enjoyed it very much, and because of all that like connection of it being like rate straight two gamers and four gamers, <clears throat> I really enjoyed it, and that's why it's in my top there. It was very good. Um, the next one is the Blue Eye Samurai, which is also just kind of we knew about but came out of nowhere and just really captivated us. It's a great story. Yeah. Great animation. Yep. Um, and that type of time period is becoming really popular with like Shogun and yeah, a bunch of other so many Assassin's Creed. Like this, this time, time period time is story. becoming very popular, and, but it's nice to see like this the Blue Eye Samurai being very good. Um, next one is Poker Face, which this is kind of more your <laughs> traditional like kind of HBO type of pre prestige type of show, which was how uh, we like to say is like have to figure out how they did it, not who did it. They know who did it, but how do you figure that out? It's kind yeah. of interesting. Um, with a lady that knows who literally can, the shtick is she can tell who someone's lying yeah so she calls them can calls their bullshit and basically tries to figure out like i know you're lying but i don't know why you're lying and how that leads to whatever she always it, gets caught up in all these shenanigans it's very like a colombo matlocky them fingering it out <laughs> it's just very well produced and well done it was very good um next one is of course one Piece, which we are aware of One Piece. We are aware of good and bad anime adaptations. Live action is kind of hit or miss. This is, um, this is the best anime is adaptation. One little live action, it just kind of blew us away in that regard. And it blew a lot of people away to the point where they're going to do like a, like a retelling of like of the animation of the actual anime and redo that. So it's going to be really good. I'm happy to see that people, like once again, you don't have to be into anime. You just have to be good in good stories and good characters. And they're really good endearing characters. Um, the next one is Gen V, which is kind of like the boys spinoff, which I found to be very entertaining to kind of just see More that. More in that universe, but from a different perspective. But still be visceral and violent and whatnot. Beach. Um, unfortunately with the passing of one of the main characters, the second season, the I think. The guy that plays the main character? Yeah. Not the main character. Well, one of them. Yeah. Uh, one of the main characters, because yeah. they have a main cast. Uh, passed away, so that's putting a hold on that. Yeah. Um, the Scott Pilgrim takes off. Once again, we all thought this was just going to be a retelling. <laughs> Of the movie or of the graphic novel, and it is nope. not, and then nobody such wants a to. Good AU. And it is good to not even talk about it further than that. Besides, don't go into it thinking what you think it is. It is way better than what you think it is. Yeah, don't expect it to be a retelling of what you already know. Um, and it's then, excellent. Actually, my bottom three are all like the prestige ones that most people probably watch because it's all Disney Plus or HBO. So once again, Andor was great. Loki season two, you loved to death. I thought was very good. And of course, Last of Us, which was also very good. And just funny because, yes. Last I, of Us was amazing. This makes it, I pushed off playing it because, of course, it's not an Xbox. It's a PlayStation thing, but it's yeah, on PC. Yeah, they, they've remastered it. It's been so long that now it's a TV series. So now it's Yeah, I'm like, hey, to... I finally get to see the plot. No, Loki, though, Loki season two was amazing. Loki is officially the best Marvel character. I got a. Compared Tony Tony Stark who saving people from the snap who I don't care but, Loki Loki wins but the idea Loki is like is the best. with a lot of the Marvel and Star Wars properties leaving a sour taste and we're not caring about it <clears throat> Andor and Loki really helped elevate that. Loki absolutely yeah. fucking nailed um, it and because we watched thirty I'm just go over the other thirty that we watched um, so you got Willow which was funny because it got reviewed so badly that it's now gone from the service. <laughs> Which is very just, interesting. It just doesn't um, exist anymore. Doom Patrol, his Dark Material, Last of Us. I like his Dark Material. Velma, which kind of filled that whole Harley Quinn slot. Uh, yeah, it kind of does have me, that same Is very interesting. Tone. History of the World, a bunch of other kind of prestige stuff. Owl House finally ended. Um, Silo, which we kind of enjoyed, but oh, it wasn't I really, really too Silo. much up there. Twisted Metal, which was surprisingly not bad. It was all right. Um, Sonic, What We Do in the Shadows. Good Omens season. Um, Can't wait for more good omens. We did watch Ahsoka, but once again, that is it was why right. we don't bother. It was lower decks. Once again, I don't usually put multiple like something that's multiple seasons on my top. 
things washed because we already know it's but good. But Lower Decks is just it's still solid fantastic. Good. Um, like our, if you like sci-fi and you like comedy, you need to watch Star Trek Lower Decks. Um, our flag means death is just like in regards to upload season three or Doom Patrol season whatever. How did we get more? Or like even like with <laughs> Velma now, it's like how do we keep getting all these other extra seasons? And I understand like a lot of productions already done, so they'll do a second season. But as you hear things getting dropped left and right, it's more interesting to see what does get continued on. So I was really surprised that Upload got continued on. Um, My Adventures of Superman, which was a cute little animated it was thing. Yeah. Um, well, he's best boy. Um, Wes Anderson, Raw Donald shorts, which were okay. Foundation, that was something else that um, oh, yeah. we were huge about. Yeah, Foundation was uh, most excellent. So, uh, and it continues to be I would good say then, upon more. reflection now, there's probably a dozen good TV shows that were, were last year. There were more good TV yeah, shows now, uh, last year than, than there were movies. And then actually games whenever I get to it. So that's kind of interesting when I think about it now. Even oh, anime, then, too. I think then, so, yeah, TV probably did better last year. Yu Yu Hakusho live action, it wasn't bad. It Solid. was It was all right, but I just didn't care, which is funny, because I used to really love Yu Yu Hakusho back um, in the day. But then we did give up on a bunch of seasons <laughs> of stuff, like Mando we dropped, Ted Lasso we dropped, Black Mirror we dropped, Witcher 3 we dropped. I could go for watching more of Black Mirror, but you... It wasn't like just, doesn't like Black Mirror anymore. It was it just wasn't like the Aesop's type Fables of type Black BS stuff. Like, it wasn't really like... Yeah, it wasn't the type of tone that you like from no. Black Mirror. Um, but yeah, but that's the TV wash. So once again, like a lot of it almost being anime game based to a certain degree or animated. But once again, there's kind of something for everybody in these. And I wouldn't say, it really as, is. yeah, because most people will, the bottom three will be nominated no matter what. So I really want to make sure that people know that, like, hey, if you were thinking and just waiting for somebody else to say something good about any of those other series on the screen, definitely give those a watch. We recommend them. The Poker Face is, it's a comedy, but also not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like a drama, mystery, yeah. comedy. Yeah, I guess the cursey type of stuff. Um, Very good. But then that, thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you next time.